Hi guys, it's Amy. In order for you to hit it longer, how you start the downswing is very important. So today I'm going to show you the correct way to do your downswing transition. So once you complete the backswing and start downswing, this area right here is called the downswing transition. In the downswing transition, you have to use the correct muscles, which would be lower body muscles rather than upper body muscles to initiate. Plus, you have to have the correct order of uncoiling your coil. So basically, it should look like this. You should be using your thighs, hips, and abs, to bring the upper body through. So you have to start using this, lower body first. But a lot of amateurs actually start the downswing transition with their hands a lot. So if you start with the hands, a lot of times you will cast, lose the leg. Um, and sometimes you would use the upper body like this too much and you will probably come over the top, which is no good. And sometimes a lot of people actually initiate correctly with the lower body, but they may use it the wrong way and spin the hips, and it also causes over the top, which is going to create a lot of side spin. All right, so um, today I have prepared a simple drill you can do at home, and another drill you can do at the jarring range. Okay, first you have to find a wall. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your backswing, and then you're going to place that grip bend at against the wall like this. And then you're going to initiate the downswing using your thighs, hips, and abs. Boom, this way. You will feel the stretch in your side of your trunk and your left arm. So it'll look like this from the front view. So you'll go like this. You will initiate with the lower body. Your hands will be kind of fixed at the wall so it won't move. But it'll look like this. And you will feel the stretch in the arm and side of your trunk. So when you do this drill, you have to be careful of a couple things. If you try and feel that stretch with your upper body strength like this, you probably won't feel it as much in the trunk. You'll feel it more in the shoulders. That's wrong. And another one, a lot of people will try and do this drill by kind of doing this way. You're kind of moving your head backwards and you're pushing your pelvis forward. This is no good either because you will end up altering the swing path and you won't hit it very great. So what you want to do is you want to keep your head still, your setup angles maintained like this, and use your hips, thighs, and abs, and try and feel that stretch. So now you've done those drills at home, um, understanding what muscles in your body uh, initiates the downswing transition. This is the fun part. Let's do a couple drills at the driving range so you can put some power into that downswing. All right, so you're going to set up. I have a seven iron in my hand. You're going to set up like normal, and you're going to pull your right foot back, like a foot back, watch. So you're going to set up, and then you're gonna pull that right foot back about a foot. Then you're going to be a little bit too far from the golf ball, so scoot up a little bit so you're comfortable. So like this, right foot back. And you're going to make some half swings, watch. So when you make the half swings, the correct look would be like this, making a wall with the left leg and driving through with the right leg. And you will finish with most of the weight in the left foot. A lot of people who initiate with their arms or their hip spin usually looks like this. They would do that and then their knees would be rotated and most of the weight stays in the right foot. We do not want to see that. We want to see you finishing on the left with a wall like this. So Hit a couple, like four or five shots like this with the right foot back. Once you start to feel the wall on the left leg, let's go ahead and switch. You're going to pull the left foot back. Same thing, left foot back. With this foot back, what happens is a lot of people feel like they're gonna lose their balance. So they end up kind of only transferring the weight halfway. We do not want to see this. We want you to try and really get into the left all the way through so that there's not much pressure in the right toe. Um, then you're going to feel a lot of tension in your left leg when it makes that wall. So with the left foot back, you want to make half swings, really finishing on the left leg like that, maybe four or five shots. Once you feel it, let's go ahead and hit a regular shot. 
and you'll really feel that you're posting your left leg great in your regular swing and that you have transferred all your weight into the left leg and that you're starting to use your legs a lot more for power in the downswing. That's ideally what we want to happen. So I want you to really practice that downswing transition part using hips, thighs, and abs at home. And then at the driving range, try this right foot back half swings and then switch left foot back practice swings. I hope you're able to follow along. If you have any questions, come visit me on my Instagram, Facebook, and website. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.